In this video, we will be discussing the developmental network as seen in thorny dragons. This is the developmental network that we will be looking at for spike formation in certain skin cells of the thorny dragon. As you can see, S promotes P, P blocks I, I blocks K, K promotes E, and E promotes transcription of spikes in the skin cell. Now we will look at the following strains and see if they produce spikes in our thorny dragon. Here are the ones we will be looking at in the next few slides. Wild type, P minus, I minus, I minus and E minus, and S minus and K minus strains. In the wild type strain, S will promote P, P will block I, making it unable to block K, K will promote E, and E will promote the transcription of spikes in the thorny dragon. As we look at the P minus strain, without the P present in the developmental network, P is unable to block I, I will block K, they for, therefore making it un, K unable to promote E, and E will be unable to promote the transcription of spikes in the thorny dragon. In the I minus strain of our developmental network, we see I being unable to block K, K promoting the production of E, and E promoting the transcription of spikes in the thorny dragon. Without the I and E present in the developmental network, E is unable to promote the transcription of spikes in the thorny dragon. With the S and K strain missing from my de the developmental network, S is unable to promote P, while K is unable to promote E, which makes E not present in the network and therefore unable to promote the transcription of spikes in the thorny dragon. So now we ask a question, why do not all cells in the thorny dragon have spikes even with the same genome sequence? My hypothesis is that skin cells, though containing the same genetic sequence, differ as they follow the regulation of DNA methylation. DNA, DNA methylation is an epigenetic mechanism that regulates gene expression by adding methyl groups to DNA and taking inhibitor proteins and repressing transcription. As a result of this, the pattern in the genome changes leading to differences in expression in a cell. For our de developmental network, if DNA methylation occurs, this would explain the processes that lead to the same skin cells resulting in spikes and normal skin cells. The addition of methyl groups to the DNA would result in a change in expression, which could be a di difference between a regular cell and a spiked cell in the thorny dragon. And here are my references.